Okay, we're good. This place gives me the chills, though. What do you think could be lurking in there, Jerry? I don't know. Dear? Oh, have you heard of the gray robots? What's that? People say that there are robots without pilots wandering the earth. They have no signatures. They fight for no corporation. They just attack everything on sight. No one has anything to tell about them because no one survived fighting them. Whenever a pilot ejects, pew, they shoot down the pod. They must have good aim. But that's against the mercenary code. Well, they're not mercenaries. Some believe they take orders from the elusive Thomas Mindread, a terrorist and well-known trickster. <sighs> Mindread is an idiot. I almost captured him once. Almost doesn't count. I mean that he's annoying and slippery, but not scary at all. <laughs> okay, what are you afraid of? Vampires. Vampires? Uh huh. They have deep blue skin. Sharp teeth and glowing eyes, which let them see in the dark, and a hidden sting, about ten feet long, to suck the life out of you. Seriously, we drove the Earth to disaster, flew off into the absolute emptiness of space, managed to colonize Mars, and now we pilot these fifty-foot war machines. And you're saying you're frightened of some fairy tale blood-sucking mutants? Drew, uh, yeah, I don't know. Sounds really like something evil life could make. Huh? The kid gets it. What? All right, never mind. Let's talk about something else. Uh, Lillian, you got any scary stories on you? Oh, please. Dude, leave her alone. She isn't into talking. Actually, huh? There's one thing that scares me. Really? Woohoo! Go on, go on. My people live at the south pole of Mars, where the ice reigns supreme. Our colonies are small underground habitats connected to each other by the soul network. This is where we work. This is where we meet. That's actually super rad. I never knew that. But where's the story? Drew, please shut up. One day, Habitat A87N went off the grid. Icarus higher-ups assured us that there was an accident caused by human error. But I don't believe that. The A87N station chief, Sam Johansson, was different to all of us. He believed that emotions stop us from becoming our best selves. Humanity is like a cage for him. So he found a way to rid himself of emotions. He burned them out of himself. Wait, is it a figure of speech? No. We don't know what really happened to him or the other people from the habitat. But their last message recently got out, and it was highly worrying. Proceed with what? Hmm. Great story, Lil. But we gotta sleep. Five hours until deployment. <clears throat> That's Drew for you. Don't mind him. Jerry. It's your turn to be on the lookout. Are we ready to proceed? Always ready, fella. Very well. They will be in good hands. He's dreaming about. <laughs>